In this tutorial I make this page marker for a B6 traveller's notebook or a B6 ring planner or whatever size you like really. You can just cut it to the specific size you need. There's a pocket on each side of it and a pen loop in the center of it and it's using items just in the planner's anonymous January subscription kit. So this is a B6 size TN and this is the way the page marker works. So you can just pop it in the relevant page that you're trying to mark, such as the page for today. The pen hangs out of it, obviously it's very secure in there, and you have access to whatever die cuts and stickers and so on that you pop in the pockets. It also works in a ring planner. I've just got my B6 Kiki K rings here and you can see it can work in just the same way, marking the page and having the pen um, out the side. You can also use the same system just to make a pocket insert and you could put holes in it and just put it in your ring planner. If you'd like to see me make this page marker step by step, then please just stay tuned. The things I'm going to use to make the page marker are the backing that the stamp set came on. This is a nice thick card and because I prefer not to laminate things, it gives sturdiness to the page marker. I just prefer not to laminate things as I like the feel of the paper or the vellum or the acetate and so on, so that's just personal preference. I'm also going to use this 5 by 7 inch die cut and I'm going to use some of the acetate that came in the kit. I'll also be using other little bits and bobs in the kit but you'll see that as I go along. The first thing that I need to do is make the stamp backing and the piece of paper be the same size. So you can see we need to cut a little bit off the stamp backing and a little bit off this card here. So this needs to be 7 inches. If you look at this you can see it's 7 inches high. So I'm just going to line this up on my grid and use my craft knife to cut it. You can easily just use scissors, whatever you're comfortable using, or a paper cutter. I just don't have my paper trimmer at hand, so I'm just going to use this. This just is a Fiskars craft knife, just a simple craft knife. Okay, I cut a little bit too much off the card. If you have a look here, you can see it's a little bit, this card's a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to pop the two on top of each other and basically cut them to be the same size. And I just want to cut the extra bit off the card. I'm not sure if you noticed my blade uh, came completely loose during that cut and it's now actually falling out. So I'm just going to use scissors just to chop this little bit here. So I now have two pieces of paper cut the same size. And the next thing I'm going to do is cut a pocket for this side. I've decided to use acetate for this because the acetate just looks so pretty on here. I just need to work out which section of acetate to use. The first thing I'm going to do is just line the card up on here just with this white corner here. And then get my section of acetate that I want to use and line it up where I want it to be, which is here. And now I know where I need to cut to. I need to cut to this white corner here. So let's put my steel ruler down there. So you can see I've cut the acetate here and now I just need to cut the other side. So I'm just lining this up once again and just double checking before I cut 
to make sure that I cut in the right place. So I have the stamp backing here and I have the piece of acetate which I've cut to fit this rectangle along the backing card. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of washi along the bottom there just to cover up this little bit and also just to have a dark shape all the way around the rectangle as I had to cut the bottom of that bit off. I'm going to use the bookcase washi and just pop that along the bottom there. I'm actually cutting a little bit past the edge of the washi and I'm just going to wrap that bit around the side there. So hopefully you can see that there. So the washi is just wrapped around there. And then this pocket will sit on here. As you can see it isn't a pocket yet. So what I need to do is cut a pocket into it. You can cut the pocket at whatever height you like. I'm just going to sort of pick a point and slice it through. So maybe just under the heart. I'm just eyeballing whether that's actually straight. So I'm not going to cut to the very edge. I'm going to cut maybe quarter of an inch in from the edge. Okay, so hopefully you can see there I've cut a slit all the way through and I just want to make sure that the slit holds these stickers. So I haven't quite made it big enough to hold the stickers as you can see here so we just want to make it a little bit wider there we go that comfortably fits stickers in there just in case you want to store your stickers there maybe like four sheets of stickers which come with the planner kit then you just want to make sure you can comfortably get them in and out of the pocket. So that's four sheets there and they're quite happily going in and out. I have the acetate here. I know it's very hard to see at the moment. It has the slit in it. I just like to cut a little notch out of the center of it so it's a bit easier to open as a pocket. To do this I've just got this circle hole punch. This one's just from Kmart. If we just sort of eyeball halfway, it's quite hard to see, I understand. Let's have a look if we put it on the back of something. No, that doesn't really make it any easier. Maybe on the leather. Ah, there we go, we can see it there. So you can see I've cut this little part circle notch out of it here. Next thing to do is to attach the acetate onto here so that we can then use the pocket. I have this double sided tape, it's called score tape and this one's in one eighth of an inch width. This is really fantastic tape, I highly recommend it. It comes in lots of different widths but I pretty much use it for everything and it adheres really well and it's easy to use. So what I want to do is put tape all around the outside of this acetate. I want to put it on the top bit of the pocket so just to be able to keep this bit of acetate permanently fixed to the card. So then with this tape you just peel the paper backing off and we want to stick it onto the, this here so we'll just start in the bottom put that a bit crooked. Okay. 
Okay, so that's the acetate stuck down onto here and you can see your little notch here which you can use to open the pocket and you can pop, for example, stickers or you can put die cuts and cards, anything you like really, um, into there. It's just a useful pocket. So it's just a few other little things I'd like to do to this side. I'd just like to cover up the 16 piece stamp set bit that's on there. So I'll have a look at the stickers. These ones are the stickers that came in the kit. It's just this open book sticker. I'm just going to see if that will fit to cover. That doesn't quite cover everything. I might just peel that one off and see if there's another sticker. Everything's quite glossy, so I should be able to reuse that sticker. I'll just have a look in the sticker set here and see if a sticker jumps out at me. Okay, so that's all I've done there, just to cover up where it said 16 piece stamp set. That's the front bit with the pocket, and now I've got the back piece here. Um, that will just glue down onto there. I'll probably use this tape again, you could just use a glue stick or whatever adhesive you have at hand. I just like my double sided tape. So that will glue down on there, um, but I might also just put a little pocket on here. You that would be quite cute. So I've just lined this piece up with this corner here, and so I'm just going to cut this little bit out using my craft knife. So just like this, you can also cut a little notch out of that one if you like, because the little notch is also a little bit like a library card, which I think is quite cute. So you can measure it to find halfway, or you can just eyeball it like I am. And I'm just going to pop some of the tape down on those three sides. So obviously not on the top side because that's where we want to put things. And then just line that up with the bottom of this and pop that down like so. So now you have this little pocket here, I'll just pop something in there so you can see that that in fact is a pocket. So for example you could have a card there or anything, anything you like. I just find pockets everywhere very useful. Another thing I'd like to do is put a pen loop between these two pieces here because it's quite handy to have your pen easily accessible and the traveler's notebook that I made I didn't put a pen loop in it. So for the pen loop I've just got this recycled piece of ribbon I'll just straighten the edge here straighten-ish and basically you just attach some pen loop in between the two layers like this you want to have enough to hold the pen and enough to attach between the two layers. So something like that would be ample. Chop that off. Just to make the ribbon a little bit more exciting, I'm going to put some of the washi that came in the kit down on the ribbon. section in the middle that's big enough to wrap the pen 
and then just double check that. I've just put a little section of washi on the middle of the ribbon, middle-ish. And now I'm just going to use some of my score tape. It would be handy to have score tape uh, that's wider. But anyway, this is what I have. So I'm just going to use some of the score tape on the reverse side of the ribbon. I'll use three pieces to sort of cover that section of ribbon. And just peel the backing off that. Sometimes the tape wants to come with the backing. Not very often, but often on ribbon it seems to. And I'm just going to lay that down on the other piece of ribbon, like so. And then just check. Okay, it's actually a little bit loose for the pen. So I'll just undo that and just put another strip of tape. To narrow the opening a little bit so put a little bit of tape this way to glue those bits of ribbon together yeah that's quite good so that goes in and out easily enough but not too easily I've just put double-sided tape on the back of the ribbon here. You can see I've got three long strips there and then a shorter strip across the washi. The next thing to do is to work out which side I want the front of the page marker to be and which side the back will be because that is relevant to which side you pop the pen on. So if I want my page marker to be like this, with the girl on the front, then I put the pen on this side. And if I want this to be the front, then I would put the pen on this side. I'm going to use the girl as the front. So obviously I want the height of the pen to not be taller or shorter than the page marker. So the height of the pen is here. The next thing I'm going to do is just lay some double sided tape on here just to help strengthen the whole connection. Because I really don't want that ribbon just pulling out of the page markers. So I'll just put three strips of tape along there. I'm just going to put tape all around the outside here. Actually, I'll just lift this one up and I'm just going to tape all the way over that ribbon and then up a bit more. So there's just two layers of tape on that bit. I'm just going to pop a little bit, just because I have a massive roll, <laughs> just to reinforce everything. There's plenty of tape there. And now I'm just going to pop the other side onto the tape. Hopefully I can line all of that up. It's not perfect, but it's not too bad. It was just a little bit, if you have a look here, I am rather a perfectionist. You can see there's a little bit of white showing on the bottom there, just from where this is down a bit low, and you can see a little bit of white at the top there. So. I could always just trim those bits off if they annoy me because there's plenty of adhesive to hold everything on. Here is the completed page marker. I've just popped a couple of little die cuts in this pocket on the front and you've got the pen on the side and then I've got a pocket on the back with some stickers in it. 
and the way I use it, this is my traveler's notebook, so if you find today, which is normally the page that I mark, this is obviously just a blank insert, then you just pop your page marker in here with the pen sticking out the side and you can easily find today which is generally the day that you want to find the most and you also have access to various stickers and die cuts or anything that you might want. Thanks for watching guys.